This is the deal. You know, I want to be president because I want to help America look in the mirror. There are too many things we're not talking about. There are too many things we're not talking about in this campaign. This idea of these political elites, whether it's parties, establishments, they're just corporate entities within corporate entities. That's what they are. They're the DNC. I mean, it's a private corporation. That's what it is. And we need a fundamental pattern disruption of, of the economic and social and political dynamics that prevail within this country. We have a corporate aristocracy. This has been happening ever since the 1980s. Health insurance companies and big pharmaceutical companies and chemical companies and food companies and gun manufacturers and oil and gas and defense contractors. It's it, our government, for all intents and purposes, does more to advocate for their short-term profits than it does to advocate for your safety and your health and your well-being and the health and well-being of, of this planet. And we need somebody who in there who, who says, no, that stops now. The capacity of someone to have that kind of moral certitude and moral clarity is what we need more than anything, that it just stops. It just stops now. The bottom line should not be, you know, the, the influence, the undue financial influence of these, these huge multinational corporate interests whose money just floods Washington because of the Citizens United decision. It should be government, and this is why we need to get the money out of politics. We have too many people who are there to serve the bottom line, the financial bottom line of their donors, rather than the democratic bottom line of what helps people thrive. Hundreds of years ago, or, you know, a hundred years ago where there were party bosses in the back room deciding who the candidate was going to be. Well, those days are not as over as we thought. I see this everywhere I go. It is not the wisdom of the DNC. How did, that, how, how did that do last time, guys? If the DNC had just not had their finger on the, on the um, scale last time, and I don't believe the president would be president today. I don't believe Trump would be president.